I'm going to talk about the Firebox 4 and the Firebox 4 Trace. This is a sales guide. And actually, uh, well, now we're just going through just a very brief overview of what's included in the presentation. So there is a short description, unique selling propositions of the devices, some key buying facts. And what is really interesting, I think, is just to see some really nice pictures of application fields and some practical examples. So it's really then easy to identify to which customer you can actually propose this kind of device of technology. Uh, then, of course, components and pricing, that will be saved for later, and pff, every information, so manual, marketing materials, and all the kind of brochures that you need to have. Marketing material, training, and some nice examples. So, a description. This is what the device looks like. It's basically, I would say, something like uh, 20 centimeters per 15 centimeters. It's an oxygen transmitter. It's able to read uh, oxygen mini sensor made from presense. And, well, it has a SMA connector. SMA connector is actually for um, connecting the optical fibers to the device. And then, of course, light is going out from the device up to the sensor, and the, the sensor is fluorescing, light is getting back from the sensor to the transmitter, and oxygen is being measured. It has a PT100 connector. That is the connector for the temperature sensor, in case the customer needs to use one. There is a color display. A functionality description of the buttons. This is not touch screen, unfortunately. And then you have the control buttons. So basically, uh, they're quite uh, built in a, this sturdy way, so that it can be used outside, even with gloves on it. There's absolutely no problem for the customer to do that. Short description. The Firebox 4 can use all kind of uh, PST3 sensor. What are PST3 sensor? This is the standard presense sensor for mini sensor for oxygen. So the measuring range goes from 0% to 250% air saturation. And of course, it comes in different form uh, sensor spots, uh, dipping probes, uh, flow through cells. The Firebox for Trace is just a slightly more expensive version of the device that can read our standard sensors, so the PST3, but also our tray sensors, PST6 and even the new ultra trace sensors that can go down to very, very extremely low oxygen concentration. It's a standalone transmitter for handled hues, so it's a standalone. You don't need to have any PC to use it. You just go around with it, you measure, and then later on you can actually export the data that are on the device to a PC. It's splash proof, robust housing. That's because actually a lot of the customers are uh, biologists, marine biologists, people that just want to measure something out in the fields, in lakes, rivers, sediments, on the beach, anywhere. So of course it has a long life battery that basically could last up to four or five months. Color display was already said, control buttons, integrated battery. It can just recharge via USB. Uh, one small note, if you connect it to a USB port on a PC, then it would only charge up to 95% because of the current that is coming out of USB port. If you just connect it directly through an adapter that's supplied with the instrument to a power plug, then it will just recharge up to 100%. It has, of course, a four gigabyte SD card for integrated storage. Uh, you will see later it's actually possible to have different users, different login files, to keep track of all the sensors that have been calibrated with the instrument, absolutely no problem, as basically one measurement point is just a couple of bytes, it's just a couple of numbers, you can store as many measurements as you want. And something that is very interesting that is quite new for presence is actually a automatic calibration. What is a automatic calibration? Basically, with every sensor, there is a barcode coming, and on the Firebox 4 and on the Firebox 4 Trace, there is a barcode reader. So you just have to stand in front of your barcode, scan it, and the sensor is automatically calibrated and ready to be used. So this is just another picture from another angle. You can see the SMA connector, the barcode reader, and the temperature sensor connector. And on the back, you can see the USB port, micro USB port, and the battery compartment. So actually, for this device, uh, the batteries are four AA standard batteries, the one with the high current, so 
basically the one that you uh, have in your cameras. So if there is something wrong with the battery, the customer can just buy its own batteries and replace them by itself. You just have to unscrew the lid and to replace them. It's very easy. Uh, some unique selling proposition. I will go through this quite fast because basically I'm just repeating what was already said in the short descriptions. But it's actually nice when you go to a customer to have this in mind because basically, uh, well, they're not completely unique, but for the customer is what is appealing about this product. So it's a vast measurement range from 0 0.5 ppm V up to 100% volume O2. And of course, the Firebox for Trace is compatible with all kinds of oxygen sensor for presence. So normal range, trace range, and ultra trace range. There is a very good sensor management because of the unique ID that is actually then stored in the login file. So it's, well, I would say, absolutely difficult for the customer to mix up different sensors. A very good energy management option. So basically, there is an option in a device. You just tell the device that you want it to shut down between different sampling points. If the sampling rate is, I would say, larger than 15 minutes, and then actually here it says four weeks, but we made an experiment and it was possible to measure up to four months with a sampling rate of 30 minutes. So the device can be used for really lots of time. And then actually, um, so as I said before, you can just use the device to take your measurement and then later download the data to your PC. There is also another option, so the so-called presence measurement studio. It's an external extended software basically you have to buy it on the side if you want and then with this presence measurement studio software you can actually control the device through a pc and you can imagine uh, of course for most of the people it's absolutely okay to use the small lcd screen that is on the device but if he's working on a lab and he has i don't know a 27 inches monitor then of course it's i think it's nice to have this kind of software because then well his eyes will just be better <laughs> after a while. Some key buying facts. It's worry-free measurement because of the barcode scan. Easy calibration, once again. This one is very important. So there is a compensation of temperature. If the temperature of the experiment during the measurement is constant, you can simply insert manually the temperature on the device. Otherwise, you can use a temperature sensor and in that case, of course, since fluorescence is dependent on temperature, the device will automatically compensate for the change of temperature during the experiment. There is inside the device an automatic pressure sensor, so also the pressure is automatically compensated. And also there is a salinity correction. So usually guys that works in, uh, with, in water with high salinity, they know exactly what is the salinity of their water in their experiment. So all that they have to do is just to input the salinity and the device will automatically compensate. Of course, it's a standalone and portable device. Uh, by the way, proof Aku is actually, well, battery in German, so there was actually a mistake from our side, sorry. It can measure both in dry and humid gases in aqueous samples, absolutely no problem. Of course, it has a unit user management setting, so you can just store different users in the device to know which user is actually using the device at the moment. And, uh, well, of course, it's possible to do an automatic calibration using the barcode, but if you want to have a really, really precise measurement, then you can just do a one or two point calibration. So basically, just like take one measurement point at 0% air saturation, and another measurement point usually at 100% air saturation. And then the device, the sensor is perfectly calibrated. Some other key buying facts. Of course, you can take just one measurement point or you can measure every interval uh, with a certain sample rate. It's compatible, the Firebox for Trace can be used with all kinds of presense oxygen sensors, mini sensors, so PST3, PST6, and PST9 standard trace, ultra trace. 
it's easy to export the data. So we'll just basically, the user will have uh, all data exported as a comma separated value files that it's very easy then to import into any kind of processing software. So Excel, MATLAB, Mathematica, so on and so forth. It's very easy, as I say, to change the batteries because they're just double eight standard batteries with high current. So no problem there for the customer. And it can be charged by USB and power adapter. And also I would say actually it's kind of like a big Game Boy. So the user interface is quite simple and intuitive. And then actually last but not least is actually not that heavy. So also thanks to the, well, uh, to the belt that is coming with the device, it's easy to carry around if you wish so. And now to the most interesting part of the presentation, some application fields and examples. So the first one is in the food and beverage market for packaging. So basically here the customer just want to measure the oxygen content inside, I don't know, in this case, in this picture, PET bottles to see how oxygen tight they are. Or another example, you just have actually a box that is containing some food, salad, bread, whatever. You want the product to last as long as possible because then, well, uh, the producer is just saving lots of money. So in this case, you just need a not invasive sensor spot inside your PT bottles or your vessel and it just can measure through the wall using a 5 box 4 going around from one box to the other one. It's fast thanks to the sensor calibration and actually it's just incredibly efficient. So for packaging, food and beverage, this is a very nice device to have. Material research, this is a very specific application and it's just to show uh, our new ultra trace oxygen sensors. So imagine, for example, that you enter some membrane, you're studying some material, some special material. You basically have this very tight uh, steel um, flow through cells. You put some your membrane or what you're trying to measure. Then you make some very pure gas flow. And actually using our ultra trace sensor, you can measure up down to 0.5 ppm volume of oxygen. So really extremely low quantities. This is what I actually was saying before. Uh, so food and beverage quality control. In this case, there is just one sensor spot inside a salad box. And it's just very nice because you see that you can just measure. And of course, the less oxygen is entering the box, the longer the salad is skipping good. So on a practical side for large food industry, this is very useful. Um, another application that is more related to universities is actually biological and environmental research, limnology, sediments, marine biologists, biologists, people that want to study plants, roots. So basically you can go around with a mic with a box 4. In this case, the lady is actually using what is so-called a dipping probe. It's just an optical fiber, and at the end there is a steel tube with a sensor inside. And she's just going to a lake or a river and dipping the probe inside the water to measure what is the oxygen. And for this kind of application, the device is perfect because there is absolutely no other device like this on the market portable. The battery is lasting up to months, precise, and it's also splash proof. So basically you can just stay on the beach for a couple of weeks and it measures continuously. Another good application is process industry. So I would say every kind of application, also biotech, some medical application, not really medical, but okay, um, medical processing industry. It's very easy to use because sensor management is easy. Thanks to our not invasive uh, sensing techniques, you can actually measure through the wall. So for example, I don't know, you're making some cultivation in uh, bioreactors, you integrate one oxygen sensor spot, and then you autoclave it, so everything is sterile. And then you can make your measurement, you can make raw your cell draw or whatever and of course then if you have uh, large uh, quantities or stuff that is being made thanks to the pre-sense measurement studio you can actually control the device through a computer up to 10 devices 